finally I have left Chennai and I am on my way to my favorite destination Pondicherry. I have been here so many times but every time I feel I completely failed at vlogging. Um, so I have bits and scraps from my previous vlog vlogs as well uh, and the previous times that I have visited. So I might try and incorporate those in this vlog as well so that there is a little bit more content and you guys know the places that you should not miss absolutely in the city um, so I'm super super stoked and there are a few new cafes that I would love to check out in Pondicherry and um, of course go visit Oroville that is a given um, I'm staying at this super quaint homestay um, it's called Velvet Villa and they are kind of uh, so the decor and everything is kind of very vintagey um, so I am eager to see check that out as well um, and I think the host and I share uh, the same name also um, I decided to take the uber intercity from Chennai because I wanted to start late and um, also like travel a bit comfortable entered uh, Pondicherry the driver had to go like he's getting some permit thing sorted uh, I think uh, the place where I'm staying at is about 600 kilometers from here and it's so freaking hot Everything is very purple and the washroom. Right after uh, we checked in, right after I checked into the villa, I went ahead and took a nap. And it's about seven now. I think I checked in at four, and I'm heading towards Promenade Beach finally. And I'm gonna chill there for. Sorry, it's gonna be like really loud lot of auto noises and everything so I'm gonna chill there for a bit and then probably go to cafe to see for their pizza or something so that's the agenda for today tonight actually there's not much uh, tomorrow is gonna be probably an even full day I am honestly not gonna hop around to the beaches much because I've done that and if I have if I have any footages I'm gonna add that but um, I'm going to take some time off, days in the cafes and get a bit of editing done because I'm seriously lagging behind in it. Like I haven't even done my Bangkok vlogs yet. I just see so many Golgappa places here, like I haven't seen them before. There's also like a juice over here. So I might have a juice there. Let's see what juice is there. Oh my god, cannot read anything so I'm going to have to ask. Pomegranate juice. no more distractions on my way to the beach it's about 900 meters from where I am and uh, I'm gonna head there the building is so pretty the chamber of commerce I think there's a cafe or something there yeah one rue sofra so beautiful 
craft bazaar made in Bondi. I don't think you guys can see because the light is shining really bright. So let's just check out whatever local artisans and handicrafts. Uh, whatever local artisans have created, so we could check that out. Promenade Beach. Uh, this I have never seen this place this crowded. I've come at peak season. Also, I went to that uh, Kraus Bazaar, and I think it was a great way to meet local artisans and support their art. And so I'm gonna spend some time here. It's really breezy right now. Spot to sit. All of them are taken by couples and families. So here's the only one. I'm actually really scared of edges, so I'm gonna be safe here. here I think you get a lot of food stuff and everything here not gonna get it I'm gonna head to uh, wherever I'm gonna go for dinner this is an interesting place in case you guys want to stop by I think this is like a very famous dairy uh, spot in Pondicherry Pondle or something I think that's how you say it so you get a lot of uh, milkshakes and everything here and ice creams too okay, <laughs> Lamahi? Uh, two people. No, party is closed. Oh, it's closed. universe was pointing me towards cafe ecstasy so they had a private party going on at La Mahi so I had to head back to cafe ecstasy um, which is fine so I don't have to come here tomorrow um, and tomorrow maybe I could explore some other places I do not know if I can go back to La Mahi but I'm gonna try so I'm gonna take a small pizza because that's all I can manage and uh, that's about it so we are, I'm taking the regular one but the, the USP of the place is their large pizza so if you're in a big group you can order the jumbo and everything and they come in like huge sizes they, I got the uh, I ordered the fungi pizza but they didn't have it so I ordered the four cheese pizza uh, it looks really good also they have really thin crust which is pretty good so yeah oregano on my pizza so I always put like only chili flakes I do not really like the taste of oregano so yeah also I'm one of those weird people who do not like toppings on my pizza I don't know why and um, in case you guys want to try some smoothie or something they have this incredible mango and coconut smoothie which I absolutely love so I'm gonna finish this pizza in peace now and then head back to hotel and call it a day. So the portion sizes are really really big. Like just imagine this is just a regular size pizza. And still it's super big. Like enough for two people. Um 
so I'm back in the hotel. I took a shower, and there are a few things that I would like to talk about this hotel. Uh, while it's like good and everything, uh, no qualms, but um, they they're charging like fifteen hundred bucks, which is the standard rate for every hotel here. But I feel the amenities that they're providing kind of lacks. So, um, like, there's no toilet paper in the washroom. Like, uh, the reception, there's almost never anybody there at the reception. Even if you call, it takes a while for somebody to pick it up. The Wi-Fi doesn't work. Um, there's just one charging point in the room, and the pillow is so hard. It's like sleeping on a brick. So these are a few things which is um, making this trip kind of a downer. But apart from that, like it's a heritage villa, so it's kind of like old school and it's vintagey and everything. Um, I understand that it's a very old property, so maybe they didn't uh, while refurbishing it, they didn't do it very well. So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna call it a night and I'm gonna go off to sleep now. I'm kind of tired as well, and I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow. At least I'm gonna try to, and I'll see you guys tomorrow again. So, yep, I hope you guys are having fun. Good night.